I figured I would replicate uh, the Empire State Express as it comes into Cleveland. So the steam engines were not allowed into Cleveland. So as you saw, I switched it out for the box cab at the beginning of the video. And the Cleveland Union Terminal box cabs would uh, ride out to meet the trains um, at a transfer point and then bring the trains into Cleveland. 
And then after they made their station stop at Cleveland, the box cabs would pull out of Cleveland and go to another transfer point down the line, and the steam locomotives would pick it, pick the train back up. So I figured it would be cool to replicate that. And uh, this is the box cab that's going out in the trade. I still have one of them, and I'm going to hang on to that one for now. But uh, this one is uh, headed out the door, so I figured I'd run it one last time. And... It's a nice looking box cab, all die cast metal with the uh, operating pantographs, or, or actually the customized pantographs, rather. Um, this model does have the power collector feature for the pantographs, but since these are not the factory pantographs, I don't know if I would want to try that. So, but anyway, it's a nice looking model with a great sound set and some nice details on it. And uh, this one will be going out the door. So I mentioned it would be cool to build Cleveland Union Terminal. Uh, I mentioned that a while back in another video, but I don't think I'm gonna have the time to do that. And there's other projects that are way ahead of building Cleveland Union Terminal. So that's why I decided to either, you know, to originally list these for sale, but uh, it ended up working out where I could do a trade. So anyway, I hope you liked it and I'll talk to you guys on the next one. Take care.